everyone, I'm Alex Sigrist, and today I've got some updates from a survey of Pangyo Techno Valley, the heart of South Korea's IT sector, conducted by the GBSA. Let's dive into it. Pangyo Techno Valley was launched in 2006 to support South Korea's advanced technologies and enhance its global competitiveness. The complex costs over 1.44 trillion Korean won for site renovation and over 3.86 trillion won for construction. While some local companies started to move into the area in 2009, it was criticized for being a ghost town due to a series of canceled move-in contracts and a lack of infrastructure. However, Pangyo Techno Valley has seen phenomenal growth in the last 12 years and became a booming business complex comprised of 1,697 companies. In particular, over 60% of businesses in the area are IT firms, including such tech giants as Kakao Group, OnLab, and NCSoft, making this area the heart of South Korea's IT sector. A survey from the Gyeonggi-do Business and Science Accelerator found that the number of businesses that Pangyo Techno Valley is supporting financially is 252, up 12% from last year. The number of businesses in the complex is 1,300, up 3.1% from the previous year. When it comes to the size of businesses, startups and SMEs accounted for 85.5%, middle market companies, enterprises accounted for 7.5%, and large companies accounted for just under 5%. Among the many types of businesses based here, 64% are IT, 15% are biotech, and 13% are content technology firms. 2021 was the first year when the number and share of biotech firms exceeded those of content technology companies. The survey also found that many of the newly launched companies in biotech joined after Genexine and Soul in Bioscience moved in, two groups that focus on accelerating innovation. Many of the biotech firms that moved in don't manufacture items directly, but conduct the necessary research for critical areas such as vaccines and diagnostic DNA kits. Businesses in the Techno Valley saw around 108.8 trillion Korean won of revenue this year, up 1.4% from last year. The IT sector accounted for 67.65% of the revenue. The biotech sector accounted for 9.11%. The content technology sector accounted for 5.9% and the NT sector accounted for about 10.82%. One of the greatest benefits of being a part of Pangyo Techno Valley is the direct business assistance. GBSA has run the Techno Valley since 2011 and carried out various assistance programs. GBSA began a startup nurturing program for global competitiveness last year to help promising local startups enter the global market and raise foreign investment capital. The institution has forged an ecosystem for nurturing globally competitive startups in the Techno Valley by providing information regarding global megatrends, connecting startups with potential investors, and offering a platform to exchange and cooperate with companies overseas. The institution's startup campus includes the Global Accelerator Center, where 10 startups are assisted by experienced global accelerators. The center has provided education and professional consulting for strengthening global competitiveness, extended opportunities to work with foreign companies, and held IR events to raise foreign investment. The center has attracted around 20 billion Korean won of investment for those 10 startups. GBSA has carried out programs on and offline to raise brand value of the first and second Pangyo Techno Valley and promote competitiveness of the complex's startups. The institution produced and posted around 100 videos as part of an online content campaign. It has also held virtual global conferences jointly with leading media businesses in regions of global innovation clusters such as the U.S.'s Silicon Valley, China's Zhongguansun, and France's Station F. One way in which GBSA has improved the work efficiency of its companies it supports it through a leasehold deposit support program for those who commute from a longer distance. The program supported 40 people from 15 businesses this year, but ended earlier than planned as its funds were exhausted in August. The high demand shows the young entrepreneurs in Pango Techno Valley in their 20s and 30s, as well as their employees, are going to play a large role in the area's rapid advancement. GBS started the program in 2016 and has offered 4.74 billion Korean won to 264 workers 
of 111 companies so far. The institution also offers an interpreting and translation support program. Companies in Pangyo Startup Campus and GBSA can use interpreting and translation services for English, Chinese and Japanese free of charge. The purpose is to help businesses to enter global markets, raise foreign investment and ultimately forge a cluster of innovation where language barriers don't exist. The construction for the second Pangyo Techno Valley is to be completed this year and it will make Pangyo City a global leader for advanced technologies where 110,000 employees from 2,000 high-tech businesses work. The second Techno Valley will be another startup ecosystem. Competitive and talented people will gather to exchange and launch their businesses along with other innovative companies and the research centers available to them here. To continue with its initial successes, the federal and Gyeonggi-do governments have a plan to build the third Hangyo Techno Valley, which will become a hub of South Korea's future ICT-based financial industry in Gumto-dong of Songnam City. Hei Sang-dae, the head of the innovation cluster of GBSA, said it was a sea of change for Pangyo Techno Valley that began 13 years ago. He added, Pangyo Techno Valley will remain as South Korea's leading innovation cluster even 10 years from now with the second and third Techno Valleys. Now it's certainly been exciting to see the changes here over the last 13 years, but even seeing the changes in the area in the last 12 months has been a pleasure. I'm looking forward to seeing the future successes that arise from Pangyo Techno Valley. That's all for today. I'm Alex Sigrist, and I'll see you around.